Here are some other headlines we're following for you tonight. From being asleep in bed to spending the night in a hospital. Right now, police are trying to figure out who opened fire on an Atlanta home, hitting a 10-year-old boy inside. This happened at a home on Washington Street in southwest Atlanta. The little boy is recovering now. Several other people were asleep when this took place. We checked out the data to analyze crime trends in this neighborhood. We've seen at least two dozen aggravated assaults here over the last month. But the city councilman representing the district tells 11 Alive that crime is actually down overall. He says he's working with APD and Georgia State Police to keep crime rates low as police search for the shooter. Jump through the window? Good God. Atlanta officers trying to track down a burglary suspect got quite the shock when he dove out of not one, but two closed windows to avoid them. This happened in the 500 block of Cleveland Avenue. Tasers and broken glass were not slowing him down. He just jumped through the second window right in front of the waiting officers. It turns out this guy has been arrested 31 times and had multiple warrants out for burglary and probation violations. He's now in the Fulton County Jail after getting patched up at Grady. And good news, you're one step closer to getting some money back from the state. A Senate committee gave the thumbs up to the state budget. The spending plan could get a full Senate vote later this week. And the House could approve that income tax rebate later this week, too. If all that gets approved, homeowners get a tax cut of about $500, and Georgia filers could get an income tax rebate of anywhere from $250 to $500. Bucks.